quote, go now, quote, go now. That is the emergency order being given to over 40,000 people right now. 40,000 people are having their lives completely devastated and ripped up and they are having to pack their bags and leave now. Pack their most valuable belongings, pack their bug out bag and get out now. That is what's happening to over 40 thousand people and you need to be getting prepared too because you could be next your neighborhood could be next your city could be next one of these places is a major u.s city with hundreds of thousands of people living in it and they are being they're having evacuations right outside of it all right so big things are happening right now we need to be getting prepared and it seems like these evacuations and these emergencies are becoming more common all right and they, every couple weeks there's a major emergency like this and it's not to be scared it's not to be fearful but it's to be aware that these attacks and these situations are escalating at a rapid rate and we need to be aware of it and we need to be ready because your city could be next 40,000 people being evacuated right now quote under go now emergency level three orders right now all right right now this is happening and just really quick guys does anyone even remember this is what i'm saying this could be your city does any does anyone even remember east palestine ohio does anyone even remember that i know that sounds like a a distant memory now because it was six months ago that was in like february i believe is when that happened around six months ago and that feels like a distant dream but it's not for the people there there's still tens of thousands of people in this region that their property values are completely worthless their homes are worthless their homes are contaminated they're sitting there breathing in this toxic these toxic chemicals all right and this could be your town or city next Anytime, anytime this could happen, all right? And really quick too, guys, if you guys didn't see, I posted a video yesterday for just a little bit. It was only up for a little bit. I was having some issues with it. Right? So I took it down because I didn't want to have any issues there. All right, so please just hit it up for me down there. Let's get back in this news, all right? This is happening multiple different places right now, all right? We have three different regions under emergency evac evacuations right now. And... This is accumulating to over 40,000 people. It's adding up all the people in these regions and where they live. And this is around 40,000 people are being displaced under emergency evacuations right now, all right? So just to get started, okay, one of the, a major U.S. city is now, right outside of it, is now under a level three go now, quote, go now emergency evacuation order. And this stuff's spreading. This stuff's spreading and something is going on. And it seems like this could potentially even be coordinated. Okay. Potentially. I'm not saying it is, but the potential is there. And it's something we need to be thinking about because if things are coordinated, if there are attacks happening, then that just increases the urgency level of you getting prepared that much more. And it's not about fear. It's about preparedness. It's about running into what's scary, right? That's what I do. Whatever is the most scary event or thing that I see going on in the world, I just want to run straight towards it and expose it and be ready for it. I don't want to be caught off guard. I don't want it to be this sneaky thing that uh, just pops up on me one day. I want to be ready for it. I want to see it coming a hundred miles away and I'm getting my battle armor on and I'm getting ready and I'm getting prepared for this emergency that's coming. All right. So it's not about fear. It's not about being scared. All right. It's not about running away. I know I always talk about get out the cities. That's about getting out of these control grids and starting your own homestead, starting your own life, getting away and having freedom. And that's where you make a stand. All right. Make a stand there. But the key is to see it, see it coming a hundred miles away and to get your armor on now, get battle readied now. So when it gets, when it's here, all right, you're ready. And that's all metaphorically I'm speaking here, all right? So let's dive into what's going on here. There's a ton of big news and we need to be getting prepared for it. So let's get into the details here, 
All right, we have three major incidents right now, three different evacuation zones that we are dealing with. Let's get into the first one. Over 40,000 people are under these go now emergency evacuations. Let's get into one of the biggest ones happening right now in Spokane, Washington. Spokane County, Washington, right outside of Spokane is now under emergency go now evacuation orders. And this is around 10,000 people in Washington, right outside of Spokane. There's actually two fires. There's one north and one south of Spokane, Washington right now. And they are under go now emergency evacuation orders in the county. And this is around 10,000 people are under this order right now. So just where would you go? Do you have an evacuation route? Do you have somewhere to go? Do you have somewhere to bug out? And what's going on with these fires? These fires are extremely suspicious. Something's going on. I made a whole video on it a couple weeks ago, okay? Because there were major fires in Idaho, Oregon, Washington a couple weeks ago too. And now there's hundreds of them. And now they're hitting, they're starting to hit the big cities out there as well too. What's going on with these fires? And this is just one. We have two more evacuation zones we're going to get to as well. And some other news that got pushed back yesterday. But we have two more evacuation zones. What's going on with these fires? All right. And I'm going to put some pictures up here. There was actually another fire in Hawaii. There was two fires in Hawaii actually. And I'll just put some pictures here. Let me know what you guys think of this. These fires just, they just look so strange. Okay. The buildings are completely incinerated and burned to ash. There's not even any piping left or anything or any kind of foundation or anything like that or blocks. There's just nothing left, nothing left and completely incinerated. But then the trees around it are fine. Trees around it are fine. So what's going on here? What's going on? I made a whole video on this a couple weeks ago and I was getting, I was kind of getting flack for it. Actually, I lost like a hundred subscribers on that video for some reason. And what did we see a week later, a week after that video came out, we saw one of the deadliest wildfires in history. And there was actually two of them. And the one I just showed you pictures of was the second one that was actually happening on the same island over there. So what do you guys think is happening? Why is this stuff spreading so rapidly something is going on and it seems like america north america is under attack right now we're seeing major attacks and events so ten thousand people in spokane county surrounding spokane are now under go now level three evacuation orders okay there's two different fires surrounding spokane right now we also have twenty thousand people evacuating in canada right now Okay, Yellowknife Canada has 20,000 people evacuating from a major fire as well. And we also have around 10,000 people evacuating in California from these hurricanes. All right, down there in LA County and I believe San Bernardino County, they are issuing these evacuations. I will put up all the documents here so you can see exactly where they want you to evacuate specific communities. And I added up the populations and this is around 10,000 more people just for now. This is before the storm even hits and the storm's about to, it's about to hit on Sunday night in California, all right? But what's going on here, all right? We are seeing major life-changing weather events happen constantly. Now we're having a major hurricane in California. What do you think is happening here? There are a lot of factors, but one thing I just wanted to put out here so people know this is real and they can consider this. I'm not saying this is what's happening, but these are real things that the military has. The military has weather weapons. The military has fire weapons. The The earth is being radiated with microwaves from radio towers 24 seven. The radio cell phone towers operate on a microwave radio frequency and the earth and you yourself are constantly being exposed to microwaves. And we know what microwaves do to, uh, do, does the food that you put in the microwave. Okay. It completely ruins the cell structure of it completely vibrates and alters it and also heats it up as well causes immense heat and things that have water 
All right. And I'm not saying these things are happening, but this stuff is suspicious and these events keep piling on, all right? Keep piling on. And what did we see just a few days ago when I posted a video as well? We have a presidential alert. The president is coming out himself and he's even warning that they are about to declare a national emergency. At the same time, we have these fires burning America and Canada being absolutely devastated. 20,000 people in Canada this town, Yellowknife Canada, is being evacuated right now. We have Kelowna, BC, Canada as well. British Columbia on the western side of Canada. Kelowna over there is burning as well. The fires are getting right up to... This is like a major city over there. I'm surprised that Kelowna is getting hit too. And they have fires just blazing into the city. It's right on the edge of the city and they're fighting as well. And they are about to issue evacuation orders there and they've already declared a state of emergency in multiple provinces in Canada from these fires, okay? These fires are also causing fuel and uh, plane delivery problems, okay? So a lot of these fires are blocking plane and fuel routes for smaller planes, okay? They would normally stop at this one airport to refuel, okay? But the airport now is closed due to these fires. This is happening all over Canada right now. Or they just don't have any gas because the routes to get them gas are being blocked by these fires as well. This is happening all over Canada because a lot of these regions, there's only like one road to get to place. There's only like one or two roads going through the whole uh province or this region of the province okay so everything runs along there and if there's a fire and it's blocked off then the supply chains get cut off as well all right they're saying major highways are being blocked in canada right now too from these fires okay and there's fires all over idaho there's fires all over washington all over oregon right now and they are spreading and people are being I when I reported on this a couple of weeks ago the police were going door to door banging on people's doors in southern Washington and telling people to get out now you have to leave right now or you are going to be burned alive essentially and if you've seen some of the stuff going on some of these pictures coming out I'm just like I don't want to I just always have an issue, you know, so I don't want to get too deep into what's going on there and show pictures of what's happening. But some of the stuff going on is almost completely mummification. Like people are like mummified, like a, like it's Pompeii or something, like a volcano went off, like they were vaporized. Like this is Sodom and Gomorrah over here, like they're being vaporized. That's how the people look. Right? That's how they are looking from the situation. Animals, dogs, there's dogs on the street. There's, uh, it's, it's devastating and very sad. And it's just very strange and suspicious. And we've seen stuff like this before where these very suspicious fires where all the buildings are completely vaporized. All the cars are melted down. The metal is melted down from the cars. But the trees are not burnt. It'll be completely surrounded by trees, 360, and they are not burnt for some reason, okay? People have been questioning and wondering what is really happening. And now we see all these other cities getting smacked too. Spokane, Washington, Kelowna, BC, Yellowknife, BC, or Yellowknife uh, Northern Territories. And then we have LA getting smacked with this hurricane as well. All right, so let me know down below what you guys think. Please hit it up for me down there. I really appreciate that. It really helps to get this video out to more people. And this is a urgent one. This is one where people are, they're evacuating in live time. While, this, while you're watching this video, people are evacuating and leaving their homes and bugging out. And it's sad, right? And people are leaving, leaving their animals. They're leaving their horses. They're leaving the cows because they don't have enough trailers for them or whatever. They don't have enough gas for them. Okay, that's why it's so critical to have your tanks filled up, have your car tank, your gas tank, your propane tanks, your water tanks, all this stuff filled up because you could be hit in this emergency anytime. These people went to sleep, all right, and then overnight, this this is what happened outside of Spokane. Overnight, this fire spread over 10,000 acres overnight, became extremely dangerous. Overnight, you go to bed, you wake up, and you have to evacuate your home.
and leave. All right. And I'm in my RV. I'm, I'm kind of blessed that my home's on wheels so I can kind of evacuate. I'm kind of used to evacuating. I'm always, you know, I move around to different spots here and there. I have my own little bug out property, kind of just a raw land property that I can go to to bug out. But a lot of people don't have that luxury. All right. They just have to throw a couple bags in their car and try to head out. And that's all they have. All right. So get your stuff packed, get your bug out bag packed, get your preps packed, get a water filter in there, have a little Sawyer mini water filter, life straw, whatever. So you can drink out of some streams. If you're bugging out, who knows where are these 40,000 people going? Where are they going? They, there's not enough space for them to go. I'm sure a lot of them don't have money to go anywhere and it's devastating. All right. So make sure you're prepared. This stuff's spreading. It could be your city next. And please hit it up for me down there. I really appreciate that. And please have a big old blessed day.